Hello everybody, welcome to my Python Beginners video tutorial series. In this video tutorial series, I aim to cover all the topics uh, for the Python beginners using our Clarisway learning management system. Yes, as you can see, this is our first page of our Python course, Python Basic. And we have several topics here. Let's start off the first one, introduction to topic. Introduction to Python, sorry. And in this topic, we have two subtopics. We, uh, I assume that you have familiar with some knowledge about Python. And let's skip the first one and dive into the coding. First step into coding here. Okay. In Python, we just simple, uh, simply use codes for printing out the strings. The string type is just like uh, sentences in, in English. You can use any, any characters uh, using your keyboard enclosed by codes. And this is a function, print function, uh, which allows us to show the outputs of the codes output of the uh, any value inside the parentheses okay this is our code and this is the output and by the way uh, for running our program running our script python script we can use our python playground embedded in each page yes we have python playground at the bottom of each page and you are not uh, necessarily go outside to run your code. You can write here where, uh, whatever you want, being a good person, let's say, and click on the run. Run button. Yes, this is our output. We can use Python Playground in our video tutorial series. Okay, the, the uh, important thing is that we have to use a single code or the double codes. Uh, the codes make our characters series into into a string type, into string type. Uh, as you can see, we just uh, wrote Clarice way will change my life. As you can see on the above, uh, in the print function, and it outputs what we pass into the parentheses. For now, you don't, uh, you don't need to understand or uh, go deeper inside to how it, appear, how it works. Uh, just start to enjoy the coding looking like English. If you make some statement at this point, uh, print is the name of the function, okay? And a function is a piece of code uh, that uh, make your life easier and execute some logic for you, okay? Just for now. Uh, we can know just that. And as you can see on the right hand side, the next, uh, the next page is let's practice page. And when you see the let's practice, it means that you have a quick question. Go to the next topic here, matter of codes. Yeah, as a Python programmer for each of you, uh, you should deal with, deal with codes a lot. As you know, a string uh, in, in, in Python, I mean the text-like value, uh, enclosed by uh, single or double codes. Uh, both are valid and you, you can choose one of them and stick to it and uh, use, the start, if you start with the double codes, uh, you should end with the, uh, the same, I mean the double codes and double codes. If you start with the single codes, and as you can see, you should uh, end your string uh, with a single codes, okay? Uh, and additionally, we can use triple codes as well. If your string is too long uh, and which uh, contains multiple lines, you can use, as you can see, uh, triple codes here 
and between the triple quotes you just uh, freely write down your own text uh, con uh, including multiple lines here are some examples using quotes as you can see we use the single quote inside the string and we make our string using double quotes here so it works it it it, it doesn't give give an error it works because because it is a single quote and uh, it doesn't matter for uh, for you to 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 print out using the double quotes uh, in the in the print function uh, and yes do not mix two quotes style in one string this is important that I said just now if you start with a single one you should you have to uh, start with a single one and so this this code line gives an error if you if you uh, write down something like that a script it gives an error because uh, just I said we should end our string with single code not a double quotes okay let's do the same thing with the numbers and the numbers doesn't need any codes we just write down a new number type it is integer type in 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 the in the parentheses then it just print out our 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 value uh, by the way i'm gonna cover all the data types i mean the integer float numbers and string and other the other collection types so uh, we will cover all these types in this video tutorial series as well so let's go to the next last practice and let's see what we have here let's print it is my pleasure on the screen with double codes oh we have to use print function again print using double quotes uh, it is my pleasure yeah let's check it oh good passed all the tests okay you can find all these courses and much more on the Cloudsway learning management system see you on the next lesson video tutorial series goodbye